G'day everyone, what a glorious Sunday morning it is and I've decided to do a bit of trout fishing. I've come up to one of my favourite little streams and I'm trying out this little pontoon 21 minnow that I received in my mail time recently from the Tackle Club. Righto folks, now you may or may not have seen the video, I received a parcel in my mail time segment a while back from the Tackle Club, it was a trout and redfin tackle box with about 80 bucks worth of tackle in it, and one of the things that was in it was this pontoon 21 pacer, and the moment I looked at it, I thought, I'm going to use that, that looks so awesome, so today I'm going to give it a swim, well I just have given it a swim, I gave it a swim through the pool that's below here before I filmed the intro, and it looks absolutely amazing, and I tell you what, if I don't catch a trout on this little minnow today, I'll eat the bloody thing myself. <laughs> it was a bear wave, it was a bear wave. There's definitely something in there following that. A little one following it. Oh, for the leaf. Hopefully it didn't speak the fish. He was following it but he wouldn't take it so I was pausing it but I hit the leaf. When you're fishing with minnows for trout sometimes if they're just following it if you pause it and twitch it a bit it can bring on a strike. Has he come back? No. I'd say I might have spooked him and I hooked that leaf. Right, yeah, folks, a little pontoon 21 pacer. It looks absolutely amazing in the water. It's had quite a few follows, but no strikes. It might be just a little bit on the big side, perhaps. I'm not sure for this little stream, but I'm going to leave it on for now because up around the corner here, there's a couple of larger holes that I know might just house larger fish. I've caught larger fish in them before. When I say larger fish, in a creek this size, I'm talking fish, you know, 35 to 40 centimetres. So, they will be more than capable of munching on a minnow, that 75mm minnow. So I'll leave it on for now, despite not actually having any hookups, because I have faith. He comes on, got him! Oh, I missed him! He hit it, he was only a little fish. He was probably only 20 or 25 centimetres long, and he gave the, uh, the pacer a decent crack. Told you I'm leaving it on. Told you I've got faith. It just looks so awesome in the water, this lure. It's got to catch fish. Something splashing around up there between these two pools. I'm just wondering whether it was that fish maybe swam up and moved into the next pool. That next pool up there is quite deep and I've caught decent fish in it before. I've caught decent fish in this one before too. Although I'm not a fan of the full sun being on the water. There's no straw, got him! Little one! <laughs> oh, he got off! He wrapped me around this branch and got off! Can you believe it? He may have even been a redfin, that fish. I have caught him up here before, but not for quite a while. All I saw was a really small fish. Just the way he was pulling, he wasn't jumping out of the water. He was just going straight down for the snags. I wonder if that was a small redfin or not. It's a good cast, Robert. All oh, the size of the tree, just followed it. Nice one. Wasn't huge, maybe 30 centimetres. Oh shit. I put this off. Got him! <laughs> Look at him go! That's definitely a trout. <laughs> the last one didn't do that, the last one just pulled straight down. Lovely little brown trout. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Nice little brown trout caught on the pontoon 21 pacer. Ripper. I'll get you back in the water, mate. Almost done. There we go. Look at that. Out for about 20 seconds. He'll swim off really well. There he goes. Minimised his time out of the water and he swam off happy. Now I've gone for bigger lure, bigger fish, but he wasn't bigger. So the smaller ones will hit the larger lures if they really want it.
Got him. Yes. Nice brownie too. Yes, you ripper. You little ripper. What a lovely trout. He is a ripper of a trout. Oh yeah. He nailed that pontoon 21. Might, uh, let me see if I can get a photo of this bloke. I have to leave him in the water. Just let him tie around a little bit before I, uh, before I get the photo. I don't want to lift him up until I've got the camera out, ready to go. So that it can be over within a matter of seconds. Get the camera out, bang, get the fish off. He is a lovely brown trout. Oh yes, stoked with this. Right now, where's my camera? It's in auto, so I don't have to stuff around with any settings. I need to pin it actually, it could, it could well get off. <laughs> If he gets off, it's not going to be the end of the world, but geez, a nice trout. Have a look at that for a fish. Real quick photo. Right, there he goes. Put the lure up there. See ya, mate. Off he goes. Look at him. He is as happy as 10 trout. You little ripper. What a lovely brown trout. Come on. Bigger lures equal bigger fish. And that's exactly what this one's done. This is the pontoon 21, the jointed minnow. I'll have to, uh, just have to get the box out so I can see exactly what model it is. Pontoon 21 Pacer, 75 JF SR, whatever that means. The pontoon 21 Pacer, 75 mil. This was actually sent to me in that pack from the uh, tackle club, the monthly tackle club pack a while back. And I thought, uh, it's a bit bigger, but with a bit of luck it might find a bigger fish. And that's exactly what it's done. That was an absolute beauty. You ripper. Rightio folks, well that's it from me. I've had a stack of fun. I've uh, caught the two fish, one small one and then that real nice one. There's an old saying that bigger lures equal bigger fish. And I've proved that today by catching that nice fish. Now I know it's not a monstrous trout, but in a stream this size, that's quite a decent sized trout, I'll tell you. I'm stoked. A couple of follows, a couple of hookups, a couple of nice fish. I couldn't be happier. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, do not consider doing so. And I'll see you in the next video.